one year after I visited Iran for the first time, I came back to explore a part of the country I haven't seen yet. In this episode, I take you on a week-long road trip with friends, from Tehran through the Albus Mountains to the Caspian Sea. I am back in Iran for a little addition to the Inside Iran series. In this video I want to show you some hidden gems in the north of the country. But first we start things off here in Tehran where I wanted to show you a site which I haven't shown you in the last series, the Tabiat Bridge. With 270 meters, the Tabiat Bridge is the largest pedestrian overpass in Iran. The bridge was designed by a group of Iranian architects and has won several awards for its impressive architecture. The name of the bridge translates into Nature Bridge, as it connects two public parks in the north of Tehran, which were separated by the main highways of the metropolis. With the incredible views and the beautiful parks, it quickly became a hotspot by locals and is an awesome location for photographers. After about four hours of driving from Tehran, I arrived in the Alborz Mountains which are surrounding us. We are at an altitude of almost 2100 meters, up there is 2100 meters. And this big rock is why I'm here. On top of this rock sits the Alamut Castle, which basically means something like the Eagle's Nest. And this was the stronghold for many years of the Assassins, quite an interesting spot. So it's a little hike to come go up there, it's about half an hour of climbing the stairs. Quite a climb, but totally worth it if you see the surroundings here. You don't see much of the castle because it was actually destroyed, but they now do reconstruction work. And if you come just for the views, it's totally enough. What an incredible location for a castle. The Alamut Castle is located within the Alamut Valley, which is home to a number of castles of the Assassins and a great spot to go hiking if you bring more time. We decided to spend the night in this beautiful valley before we drove all the way back to Kasvin and from there through rushed to our next destination, Masule. Well, I got lucky at Alamut. I didn't get so lucky with the weather here in Masule. This is probably the most popular village in all of Iran because these houses are on top of each other like you can see here. It's a little bit like built with Lego. Masule architecture is unique. The buildings have been built into the mountain and are interconnected. Courtyards and roofs both serve as pedestrian areas similar to streets. Masole does not allow any motor vehicles to enter, due to its unique layout. It is the only city in Iran with such a prohibition. Yellow clay coats the exterior of most buildings in Masole. This allows for better visibility in the fog. And when you come to the north you also need to eat typical food from here. So we have kebab posh. And the third and last stop on this trip is Ramsa. This is the city down there, right at the Caspian Sea. This is where the Albos Mountains, which are right here, tumble into the sea. And right now, I'm here at the Bami Saj, which basically means the green roof. And I think this is pretty appropriate because it's green around us and you have this nice view. 
cool spot and very popular by Uranians. That is it for this episode of Inside Iran. If you are interested in traveling to Iran as well, make sure to check out the rest of the series here and check out my Iran travel guide here with all my tips and recommendations. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for new travel videos every Thursday and see you next week. Bye!